Welcome back to the Morning Brew. I, I love programs uh, like the one we're about to describe. Uh, they're, they're very inspiring, um, and I, I, I think they help people in a, in, a, in a lot of ways. I want you to meet uh, Kelly Gossett. Kelly uh, runs what's called the Adaptive Kayaking Program at uh, the Hotel Cascada Water Park, and uh, it runs Kayak New Mexico. Good to meet you, Kelly. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. This is uh, just like a lot of the other ap adaptive program skiing and horseback riding and things, but this involves kayaking over at the, the Great Water Park at the Radisson. And what a great idea. Uh, you're going to display this in an open house environment, right? We are. So our program, we serve a number of kids and adults with different physical and dis developmental disabilities. Um, Hotel Cascada is one of our first major corporate sponsors. They're about kids, family, and water. We're about kids with disabilities, families, and water. It's a neat okay. partnership. Wonderful. That's perfect. And you're a nonprofit, and um, you're just dedicated to helping people with developmental disabilities and physical disabilities. We also work with uh, healing veterans, at-risk kids. Do we do some environmental work and things like that as well too? But our, the focus of our programs is on adaptive kayaking. All right, we got we have a little video of some of this going on, and right. I think it's really kind of it makes you want to jump in the water and join them. <laughs> uh, let's idea. roll a little video of uh, this program. Uh, so what are we looking at here, Kelly? So um, Hotel Cascada has a couple water features. They have the Lazy River, and uh, what you're seeing are kids with uh, autism, muscular dystrophy, Down syndrome. There's a couple of kids with cancer. Um, and you know they're doing things that other kids would do. They're just doing it in an adaptive environment. Um, Hotel Cascada has, um, so, has a number of different water features. We're going to open the park up. Um, it's closed to the public, but it's open to kids with different disabilities, um, their family, siblings, and their support. So we want to create an environment where kids can come and have a lot of fun. Um, change their life from their daily routine. They see therapists, a lot of them go through treatment and, and uh, they're seeing doctors and we want to provide a, an opportunity for them to do what other kids do, um, but at the same time teach them that they can be independent, they can build courage, build confidence, um, and that they can have a unique identity that's not tied to their disability. That just looks like so much fun. Doesn't I mean, it? I was I want to jump in yeah. the water with them. And, and really they look like fun. they're having a blast. And just, you can see the confidence on their faces. Everyone looks happy. They just look so excited they to be there. They must light up when they see those kayaks. And, it's a neat thing. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Now, well, uh, people can support this, and you're going to have an open house where this will be going on, right? And so we have, uh, we've reserved Hotel Cascada for four days, uh -huh. um, May 13th. 15th, 20th, and 22nd. We have the whole facility closed to the public from 4 to 9 p.m. Participants get to choose a two-hour block, and we'll rotate through. Um, you know, they, we have full access to the park, so if they're not kayaking, they can go on the water slides, they can go on the flow rider, and um, that's that's it. And, Pick and choose the and times and dates. Come out and, and watch and support the program. We do encourage people to register early. It helps us manage our volunteers and know uh -huh. how, to, how to structure the program. So um, we do ask people to register. We're asking for $10 to cover um, some of the cost and you know the equipment and things like that. It is, a, it is one of our first major fundraisers as well. Sure. Uh, let's talk, talk about uh, the safety of this, first of all. It, it looks like a lot of fun. Okay. But you're obviously, there's water involved. and There is. Um, you know, are there enough people there to help people that maybe turn over the boat or something like that? So we, um, this is kind of an informal event in the big scheme of things. Our goal is to help build our mailing list, to help uh -huh. expose people to the idea of kayaking in uh -huh. a controlled environment. Um, Hotel Cascada has 11 lifeguards on staff at any given time. We're asking that kids under 10 years old and anyone needing uh, assistance throughout their daily routine, regardless of their age, bring the support that they need. And that way, uh, we're able to make sure that the kids are safe and that uh, they're able to be successful. We're going to have um, probably 15 to 20 volunteers. Our volunteers are there to support the parents and support mm -hmm. the, the caregivers, not necessarily to provide the hand over hand instruction that they would get through formal classes. I see. Now, do you give them a little instruction on how to paddle that thing? Uh, some have paddles, some don't, I see. Um, so we don't necessarily need paddles to have fun in a kayak. You'll see some of them hand paddling, and hand paddling is a good way to just develop a feel for the boat. Um, uh -huh. A lot of the folks you're seeing, this young man's been working with us for um, about four months or so. Um, and so um, it's not necessary to have a paddle right off the bat. The main thing is they're having fun. You know, if they want to climb in and fall out or climb in and jump out, they're interacting with the boat in the only way. And we know that if they're having fun, then they're definitely learning. Now, are those boats, uh, those kayaks pretty light? They're pretty light. They're uh -huh. pretty stable, too. They're designed uh -huh. to be right side up. One of the ways that we adapt the equipment is we may put someone in a larger boat, which makes them more stable. It lowers their center of gravity. Uh -huh. um, the 
river itself is uh, the lazy river is only about two and a half feet deep, yeah. and um, so you know it's really not not a big problem. Um, we'll have a number of volunteers to make sure that they're all kind of yeah. going in the same direction. There's people standing around yeah. in the water Helping, to help yeah. them guide the. What a great idea! Uh, the kids must just have a ball. It's, it's, a lot of, a lot of laughing and, and you know, smiling. When you're when you take someone out of a wheelchair and put them in a kayak and we can take them places where roads, trails, and wheelchairs don't go. It really is life changing. We'll expose people to the idea of kayaking <clears throat> at Hotel Cascada, but our goals are to get them outdoors, get them on the Rio Grande. We've taken kids uh, with um, <clears throat> Down syndrome, muscular dystrophy, autism. We've taken them down the Rio Grande during the balloon wow. fiesta. So oh my balloons gosh. are from me to this light here. We can feel the heat, oh, you know, and we're fun. just right there with them. So um, this is really a first step in, in an ongoing program. Okay, May 13th, 15th, 20th, and 22nd from 4 to 9 p.m. Um, and uh, if you want to register and, and get involved in this, uh, there's a website. We've put it up on the, on the screen, and everybody can. This is a great idea. Awesome. Kelly. Website's full of frequently asked questions, a lot of other information, too. NewMexicoKayakConstruction.com sure. slash hotel dash cascada. Um, FAQs and contact us. Get a hold of me if you have questions. Beautiful. Thanks, yeah. Kelly, for awesome. coming down. What a great program. Well, thanks for having me. Kelly Gossett with Kayak New Mexico and Adaptive Kayaking, uh, this event going on over at the Hotel Cascada. All right, back on the morning brew with more to come after this quick timeout.